G'day guys, just gonna give you a quick no nonsense setup vid, no camera trickery of the RT2 Sandstorm. So this is the two-tone tan and black. So I actually really, really love this color. So obviously, first off you get this big swag bag. So this swag bag will easily accommodate your blankets and pillows. So you can just pull your swag out of there pretty easily. And in here as well, we've got the peg bag and all well, the peg bag and the pole bag. So we've got those two, we'll sit them over here and we'll just move this out of the way for now. So first thing you're gonna want to do is find where you're gonna put it under your two buckles, lay that down and just roll it out. So this is where some of the features become evident. So this is our very own ground sheet or porch we like to call it. So optional but there's plenty of pegs included. So I'm just going to peg that out. I don't usually peg it out. We'll chuck some in it for the demo. Get him nice and tight. And then I'll just pull the base out as well. So it's got peg holes in the corners, as you'd expect. Right, eh? That's the basics of it pegged out. So we've got a couple more pegs there. So this here is the boot bag. So you can put your boots in here while you sleep. I've, I've actually become the habit of putting the swag bag in here as well as my shoes. So it fits in there quite easily. And then you don't have to have it in your car. So that, um, that's a winner for me. So there's heaps of room for your boots in there. Even put some snacks in there away from the kids if you want. They'll never find it, trust me. So there you go. That's the boot bag sitting there. So now let's start setting up the swag. So it's a three pole dome swag. So we kept it pretty simple. Something in there for later, a little surprise. So it's a three pole dome swag. Comprises of your two end poles. So on their double, these are a 11 mil pole. So I just like to put the two ends in first and then just grab the middle and lift it up, slip it on. So once your middle's done, you can just go along the sides. There's quite a few clips here, so it's pretty secure. It won't want to um, blow away on you in heavy winds. So yeah, just clip all these in. Go along to the other side, do the same thing. Can't get enough of this colour. So stoked with it. If um if you want to get hold of one of these sandstorms, I will say just put your orders in early because these ones are flying out the door. Rightfully so. So same thing. Clip these in. And then we'll move on to the center pole, which is a three-piece design. Makes it pretty simple, keeps it all nice and small. They all snap together pretty well, so saves us from stuffing around with them. 
line that one up in the centre and just pull it out, clip it on and you've just got these two centre supports as well. I shouldn't have pegged it down because I could have given you a demo. You can lift the whole swag from here and move it and it holds together pretty well. So we'll just peg the ends out. So these are good for um, ventilation just on the ends. So getting these out. And then it'll give me a chance to show you another one of our great features, all standard on the um, RT range. Good quality zips. Got these um, storm flaps, so they cover the zips. So um, you get the most weather resistance. So in here, you'll see on the website, there's these alloy awning poles and they Velcro to the um, end of the swag there, sort of ready to access at any time. Get our last two ropes out. So this has got to be one of my favorite modifications we've made to the traditional style swag. Put my nut ropes in a knot. Right, eh? So what this allows you to do is put that through and it creates your own awning for your swag. So on a nice sunny day or a nice sunny afternoon at the beach or wherever you'd like to take your RT2 or RT swag, gives you this awesome little porch to sit out on, read a book, put it in close proximity to the fire, whatever you want to do. So this has got to be a winner for young families and all the likes. So as you'll see, it's a pretty easy setup. I wipe all this grass off my nice mat here. So I can tuck this away. I can tuck this away in this um, boot bag here as well. Nice and easy. Oh, I haven't even showed you the light yet. So we come up with this great idea of supplying an LED strip light and power bank with every RT2 and RT1 swag. So this is the basic design. It's a clear plastic with a Velcro underneath. So it is removable if you ever want to do so, but you can, and I advise to just leave this in the swag and roll it up in there. So all you have to do the first time you get it is just look at the Velcro, put it in the center and just stick it on. And literally that is it. And then you've got the power bank with its own pocket up in the corner there. So as you'll see, that is the RT2 double swag. So the RT1 swag is actually quite a large size and it's probably become one of my favorites because of the size of it you can throw it in the car and still have plenty of room so we've tested the rt1 the single swag with two people um, a couple of times and for winter and colder climates absolutely perfect we haven't had the opportunity to test it in a hot summer's day with two people in there yet but that will come and um yeah, we'll let you know how that goes. So, that's what I've got to show you with the RT2 Sandstorm. So now I'll do a quick pack up of it. So you basically just do it in reverse. 
just run around. You could pull all your pegs out. Got your ropes. So I'll get the peg bag out. The whole swag bag, of course. Plenty of room for your boots. Start putting the pegs back in here. These ropes here stay on the swag. They're ready to go at all times. That's all the pegs. Two ropes, wind them up in here. The strip light will stay in the swag. Put these back in their home, just live in here. Zip him up. So the beauty about this bottom ground sheet is if you look close enough, you'll see that it's got these buttons here. Um, not sure if I was supposed to say, but on our prototype we had a zipper and we found it didn't work too well. But the buttons are perfect for this. Makes it nice and easy to get it all off and ever wash it if you need to or even if you um, don't want to take it or you've got a single and you want to put on a stretcher you can just remove the remove the mat so the boot bag here as you've seen when I set it up this was just sitting on the mat just sort of ready to go unclip these two at the top Let it fall in on itself. So let the air come out of it. Put the poles in the bags, start unclipping these. Fold these poles away. Just gonna check this camera's still going because I'll be quite annoyed if it's stopped again. No, we're still going. We're still live. Clips on this side. Fold these ones away. So these poles, we keep in stock spares. If you ever have an unfortunate event, like run over your own swag or something silly with your four wheel drive, who knows, things happen. So yeah, we do keep those in stock. So all our swags ship from Brisbane. So that ensures they get to the um, customers as quick as we can and at a good, reliable fashion. So this mat will just fold right over the top, which is actually quite good because it protects the swag even more than having it in the bag. So these, you will want to roll it one way, which in this case, it's that way with the buckles. Still got pegs in it. <laughs> Take these two pegs out, it might help. Put them away, too busy talking. So, anyway, tuck this rope in, keep it all contained, you know. A couple of campers coming out to enjoy this beautiful afternoon.
It's a nice sunset over there actually. So this gives you the ability to roll it quite tight. Just rolling the corners, putting your knee into it and just rolling away. So that's just went over the um, shoe bag and then halfway just tuck that in a bit more. So buckles are here, ready to rock and roll. That's all we do. See on the camera's view, that's good. And just pull them tight. You don't have to go super silly with them or anything, there's plenty of room in the bag. And basically, I'll just move this over to show you a nice trick, trick way of putting it in the bag. So, a nice trick way of putting this in the bag is just getting the corners like that and literally just rolling it over. And it's already in there, didn't even have to lift it. So, as you can see, it's a pretty neat little um, kit, bit of kit. And what we really pride ourselves on at Ranger is the standard inclusions. And to be quite honest, they are unrivaled. So we will continue to innovate through our Ranger Touring products. And without a doubt, you'll see this moving forward from 2020. These are made by campers for campers to have the ultimate swag experience. Now, if you've made it this far, appreciate it guys for watching. We've had an awesome time designing these swags and we really hope you enjoy them as much as what we do. So right away guys, thanks for that and um, see you on the tracks. So I just started packing up and I've just realized I didn't even show you the power bank. So I mentioned that for the light. This is what actually runs the light. And all you have to do is charge it. It's 20,000 milliamp hours, which is a massive amount. It's got three outputs on it, so you can charge your phones as well. And there's pockets in the swag. So it gives me an opportunity to show you this awesome sunset behind me. I've got another swag set up over there. I will be staying the night out here. So I'm pretty keen for that. So righto guys.